Alright guys, he's in here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So, we've got a bit of an update on a multitude of things that's been going on in the game. Some for quite some time, some fairly recent. Um, this dropped this news just as I was heading to bed last night. Um, it's now just before 7am and I'm, I'm doing the video now so that we can kind of go over it, okay? Um, so basically, we'll just read through exactly what's happening. Hey World Warriors, we have heard your feedback regarding the behaviour of certain characters and hoping to get these changes out with the upcoming game update on Wednesday. If for any reason we have to delay any of these, we will make sure to update you all. So there is obviously going to be maintenance that tells us right away, which means that we're probably going to see some kind of new unit and on Wednesday because they only ever really do maintenance when we've got a new unit coming. So we'll find out what that is um, closer to the time, obviously. So here are the changes as follows. Again, fixed a bug whereas mirror image does not attack when in the assist position. Um, some of you guys, if you're like a member of the Discord, you'll probably have seen a giant rant. Well, I, I don't don't really know if I would call it a rant. I mean. Would you call it a rant? I don't know. I'll show you. It was pretty big. Like there was a lot. There was a lot of words in there. Um, but I kind of went over it there and other places. It's, it's been ongoing for a while. Um, to be honest, it's a it's a bug or a non-working unit that people have been talking about since month one day one of the game probably. So. That's been a long time coming and, and long overdue on getting fixed, but it's it's now finally getting fixed and we'll be able to see if the unit operates well or not. iOS Gain fixed a bug that interrupts the combo chain when his C2 is triggered. Again, that's something that's been spoken about by the entire community since, again, probably since the game launched the unit. Um, so day one, he's been getting spoke about. Nero fixed a bug where skills perform differently in some challenge and supreme fist stages. Now that's a bit of a, a weird one. Um, that was essentially, he wasn't interrupting on stage 20 and 40 of um, campaign. But then we later found out it wasn't actually just Nero. It was all movement based um, interrupt characters. So it affected other units as well. So. We actually thought that it was by design, but the fact that they're actually fixing it, um, again, is pretty positive. Again, it's one of these issues that's been spoken about by the entire community for the longest time. Um, Guy fixed a bug where his vehicle six, six skill does not act as intended in some situations, so that's another fix for another unit. And the last one, we'll break these down a bit more. Agent Viper will get increased damage bonus and also get shock added to her passive skill. So, I've already seen some people like tagging me and stuff, saying this is something to do with me. I, honestly, I don't really want to get into the whole um, who did what type thing. It's pointless. This isn't something that any one individual um, did. This is an entire community thing. This is about all you guys um, going on to the Discord. Various different people at various different times have raised these issues, have continued to raise these issues, have encouraged other people to go and make posts, make videos, talk about it on social media, whatever. So to me, this isn't a, a single person thing where one person is responsible for this over another. So. All that talk should just get put to bed. This is a win as a community, as a group of players. We've, like I say, not let up culminatively, is that the right word? As a group, we've continued to talk about these things, have kept bringing them up. Yeah, okay, there might have been lulls, like no one spoke about base gain for quite some time because I think people just thought it was never going to get fixed and then obviously Viper and making changes to Viper it was like well you know what if you can do that then you can do this you know and it brought all of this back to the forefront for some characters again characters like Kaios Gain I don't think anyone ever stopped talking about that not working things like Neo there was a group of people who were like okay 
it was by design, stop complaining about it. But then other people were like, well, no, it shouldn't be by design. It makes no sense. There's nothing to state anywhere that this is what happens. It's clearly an issue. And they kept going on about it, which again is, is what was needed because it kind of brought these things to the forefront. So, I mean, essentially, <laughs> assuming they fix any other characters that had that movement based stun issue, and add that on top of Gen, Tyos Gen and Guy now acting differently. That's a whole bunch of new units that essentially we've never been able to experience. So that could affect like team building. I mean, it's, seriously, it could. It could affect team building. It could give us a lot of new options. It could do things a lot differently going forward. And it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Now, Viper's a different story, right? I'm I'm kind of seeing some reactions to Viper and I'm just going to share my, my two cents on this and here, this is my opinion and if people don't agree with this, that's fine, right? It's up to them. Viper will get increased to damage bonus and will also get shock added to her passive skill. I don't know what that means, right? I don't know what that means. That might mean that Viper now becomes an extremely hard hitting unit. Viper might really build shock well and she is going to start functioning very well with someone like, I don't know, Trendy Kami for top and take. That's great. That is great. But that is still a different unit than people bought. I mean, we can paper over the cracks here if that's the way the community want to go with us, that's fine. But ultimately, that's still not going to be the unit you purchased that you saw on trial. So I, I, I don't think this addresses the Viper situation. I don't, right? That's just, just my opinion on it. Take it or leave it, it's entirely up to you guys. It's cool, she might be great. She might be great. And if you had trialed the unit in that state with increased damage and with added shock, you might well choose to buy that unit. But you would have that choice. As it stands right now, you bought the unit in one state, which is the super attacks being able to be looked and whatever. And after changing her to placate the community, they're going to increase her damage and make her shock be part of passive or whatever. Okay, that's awesome, but it's still not the unit that you bought. And you might have you might have no inclination to want to buy a unit like that if you are presented with it. So I honestly don't think that that is really a solution to Viper. I, I don't, like I don't, when we were talking about potential solutions to Viper, that was not something that came up. Like, okay, I know a way, I know a way that, I mean, imagine I made my video when we were talking about potential solutions for Viper. Imagine I turned around and said, guys, how about this for a solution? Make her do more damage and make her passive do something completely different that wasn't there originally. Most of you would be like, wait, he's like, why, why would that be a solution? I, I wouldn't have bought that unit. So I I, I don't know. I, 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 mean, I really don't know why that was what they landed on as a solution. I mean, okay, you're, you're saying that in her current state, as in what you think you always intended her to be, so penalties after she does a super you've decided okay what we'll do is she's going to do that but we'll make her do more damage right okay but you've still misled people who bought the unit so what is it you're doing about that part exactly i mean where's the discussion about compensation where's the discussion about an, an actual apology um oh, i mean sorry to be fair skeleton did apologize it's literally right above me as i look there but when you apologise for something, you more or less admit that, okay, I was wrong. Because I don't know about you guys, I don't apologise for something if I didn't do wrong. Okay, if I do something and I'm not wrong and someone gets upset about that, I'm not going to apologise for it. Why would I? It's, it's not my problem that you have an issue with something I've said. If the thing that I've said or the thing that I've did is correct and I have not done anything wrong, then I would not apologise for it. 
by apologising for something, you essentially admit guilt. That's the way I see it. So, by apologising for Viper, you've admitted that you've done wrong. So, when it comes to business, when you apologise to your consumer, there has to be something there. You can't just say, sorry. Because essentially, if you don't do anything to make up for what you've done wrong, you're essentially saying, sorry, sucks to be you. Okay? I phone my bank. I mean, I literally phone my bank if I've got an issue and I say, this is what happened. And they look at it and they say, okay, Mr. Hay, sorry, we were wrong. What we're going to do to make it up for you is we're going to put this money into your bank. Just to say sorry. Because we did wrong, we let you down as a customer. Here's some money. I, I'm not joking you, literally. That is what my bank does, right? I'm like, cool, make more mistakes, thanks. Um, but, you know, that's it. There is a, a cause, which is we messed up, and then an effect. Here is something to say sorry. That's just what happens. And I don't think that that change to Viper is. Now, I don't care if people have kicked back at me for saying that. I, I still think that you might not have bought the unit. Like, <laughs> you're presented option A, you buy option A, that's what you get. If option A was wrong, and you've changed it to make option B different from option A, anyone who bought option A should have the chance to opt out of getting option B, and you should get a refund. I, I, there's no other way for me to like actually say that I don't think this addresses the Viper situation. I think that out of the five points on this board, four, out of five of those points, fantastic. It's really good, you've gone in, you've shown us that you can work on these units. Fair enough, it took a fair bit of pressure. But, I don't think option five, eh, point five, the Viper thing, I don't think it deals with the situation. Again, Viper doing increased damage and having shock might be fantastic. She might be fantastic. But, you should still have the choice, you should have still had the choice, is that the unit that you wanted? Because if the unit was to be released in that state when she launched, there is people out there who would have thought to themselves, I don't need another DPS unit that does this. Especially a DPS unit who does not have soul power. I just think that, for me, while it is cool, and while it is good that they're addressing these things, I don't think this is a solution to the Viper situation. I don't, and honestly, in my opinion anyway, that's all it is, my opinion, I am not the fucking the arbiter of what is right and what is wrong when it comes to the Street Fighter community, but in my opinion, this is papering over the cracks. This is not dealing with the issue. And anyone out there who's like, oh wow, this is amazing. What's amazing? Like, what is amazing? They are still giving you something that you did not purchase. And if you just lap it up and accept that this is the outcome, in my opinion, that just opens the floodgates for future issues. Now, I said before, that this was something that, as a community, we had to stop doing. If you go back and you watch, I literally had to go to the lengths of calling them scammers to get Vigilante dealt with. It was sold for six months, six months, and it did not do what people had paid for, okay? At the end of that, they announced that they were going to fix it. And I said at the time, that's good, but we also need to wait and see what they're going to do for the people who have had it for the last six months 
and have spent cash money on something that they were told was doing one thing and it wasn't doing it, okay? They did nothing. I said back then, people need to speak up because if you do not speak up about this, the company will look, they will see the inaction of the community and of the player base and they will know that if they ignore something for long enough, it will go away. And I was told, it doesn't matter, it's fine, it's fine. Basically, because it was something that only really affected paying players, the community didn't care. The community did not get behind it, and the community just let it go. And I'm, I'm only one person, I can't keep banging on and banging on about something. But the community let it go. Nothing ever happened. No apology was even given for Vigilante. No compensation was given to the people who had bought it or anything. It was just a case of... It's not worked for the last six months. The thing that you paid for has not worked correctly. Who cares? We've fixed it now. Okay, that's the way to handle things. But I got left alone. Same thing here with Viper. This fix has come out, or coming out. Cool. I mean, it's not really a fix, you're just changing the character again. If everybody now just goes, okay, I'm happy. I mean, to me, that just gives them carte blanche to do whatever the hell they want going forward and no one's going to hold anyone accountable, okay? Again, I know this is an issue that mainly affects paying players, or only affects paying players. And unfortunately, there, there is a real disconnect if something does not affect the free-to-play. A lot of free-to-play players just do not care and they will not get behind it. And they won't support it because they almost think, ha dumb whale, you spent money, it's your own fault, right? But this thing starts to trickle down into other aspects of the game. And I, I am not even a free to play player. But if you go back and you watch some of my videos, I've actually went to bat for free to play issues that do not even affect me. I've brought attention to free to play issues that do not affect me to try and help the free to play player base. And those issues get support. All I'm saying is if we don't kind of work together as a community for all issues, whether it be whale issues, minnow issues, dolphin issues or free to play issues, then again, I just think it's a blank check to the company to not deal with things properly. So again it might be amazing Viper might become the best DPS in the game highly doubtful but this is still not addressing the issue it is given something that on paper seems like wow this might be amazing that's great but it doesn't help people like me who went out and built an absolute dog shit unit in Pharaoh Sagat because Viper made him not dog shit it doesn't, it doesn't deal with that, it doesn't address that. It doesn't address the fact that people would not have used their fighting soul, fighting spirit boxes, they would not have used their cars on Viper if it wasn't for the fact that she was doing the endless combo thing. This is not going to address that. All I'm saying is I will give them massive kudos for point one, two, three, four, a hundred percent massive kudos for fixing those units long overdue but you know thumbs up right e even then there's a degree of uh, uh, i've always felt like giving someone a pat in the back for something they should have done already is a bit redundant right but let's do it anyway big pat on the back for dealing with those four issues that you should have dealt with months ago the last point though I can't celebrate changing a unit again <laughs> from what people trialled. Because that is what's happening. The issue was you trialled Viper endless combos. I put out a guide showing people Viper endless combos. That video was then pushed out. People purchased Viper. I am personally invested in this because it annoys me. People actually tag me and say I only bought Viper because of Hayes Inc's recommendation. 
And I'm now feeling like you're now stuck with a unit that doesn't do what it on paper did. We, we used it, we trialled it, we found the logic of why could this be happening? We're cleansing the bug, right? We're cleansing the debuff. And you are now actually tagging me to tell me that you bought this unit because of me. And you're now stuck with something that doesn't do what I told you it was doing. That you know it was doing because you trialled it yourself. They've taken that and the fix for it is, yet again, to change that unit and make it do something that it did not do during that trial. And that is adding more damage and adding shock. While it might be a great change, again, it doesn't change anything. You're still left with a unit that you may not have bought because of the function being different. So I, I don't like that being on me. I don't like that being on me. I didn't change the unit, but you bought the unit because of me. Those people that are tagging me, I mean. That leaves me with a degree of responsibility that I feel like if I don't do everything I can to try to help get this sorted out, then it just, it just leaves us in a bad place. And I'd rather that wasn't the case. So, I know it's a bit lengthy, it's helped me wake up a wee bit, you know, when I started recording this, I was nearly sleeping. Now I'm like, hey, I'm wild to the moon, gonna shout. But, thumbs up, thumbs down. That's where I sit on this. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up for point 1 to 4, thumbs down to point 5, simply because while it might be great, it doesn't change the fact it's not what people purchased. Anyway, hey Zinc, I'm out of here. I'll catch you in the next one. Give me the feedback in the comments down below. Love it, hate it, whatever. Just understand the nuance in what I'm saying. Even if the change is fantastic, it is still not what people paid for. And again, when it comes down to why these changes, the first four anyway, were done, Big shout out to the entire community. Couldn't have been done without everyone in the community coming together, putting out messages, putting out feedbacks, saying different things, making sure comments were getting brought up every so often, dropping comments into comment sections of videos, dropping posts on Reddit. Everyone, collectively, give yourselves a pat on the back. Well done. Peace.